My name is Dr Dominic Shaw. I'm an Associate Professor and Honorary Consultant at the University of Nottingham and Nottingham University's NHS Hospitals Trust. We have a clinical research team comprising nurses, statisticians, database officers, receptionists, as well as other clinical staff who perform high quality clinical research across a wide variety of respiratory diseases. I nominated uh, Dr Shaw and his team um, because I felt that the study was a worthwhile study that could make a real difference with, uh, for patients, for COPD patients. The award recognises the work that our team has put in to these studies, in particular one study looking at the role of blood gas utilisation in COPD. The study our team performed showed that using venous blood gases rather than arterial is safe, swifter, less painful and as uh, useful as an arterial sample in guiding a patient's COPD management. A big thanks should go out to um, every, all concerned, everybody else who is involved, the scientists, the receptionists, absolutely everyone. We've got a fabulous team and they've made this research happen. It was a real delight to be nominated. Um, there's lots of work that goes on here that's not recognised. Um, the nomination is not about me, it's about the team that we work with. Everyone pulls their weight in this team. I'm very, very honoured to be working with this team and delighted to be nominated. I'm Becky. I work for the Diet, Lifestyle and Physical Activity Biomedical Research Unit for the National Institute of Health Research. My job is to create opportunities for patients and the public to get involved in medical research, not just as participants, but in helping steer and influence our research priorities. A lot of it is not about what doctors can do to patients to make them better, but about what patients can do to themselves and changes they can make in their own lifestyle. This is £17,600 and it is the cost of diabetes in the UK per minute. Of course, it's not just the financial cost of diabetes that we're concerned about, which currently constitutes roughly 10% of the NHS budget, but it's the human cost and that's where the public and patient involvement comes in in helping us to understand what that human cost looks like and how we can best mitigate that. We sought previously to engage the artistic communities of Leicester with the Leicester People's Photographic Gallery by running a photographic exhibition with their 2,000 odd members. That was very successful. It's a great way of talking to people who we wouldn't necessarily have always had the opportunity to talk to. The work that I do doesn't operate effectively if it's siloed. So I've depended on everyone in the team being interested in public and patient involvement, be all the, uh, the members of the public, the uh, volunteers and the researchers at the unit who should be taking the award, not me. I'm Jerry McCann, I'm a consultant cardiologist here at Glenfield Hospital in Leicester. My name's uh, Professor Tony Gerschlick, I'm an interventional cardiologist at the University Hospitals of Leicester. I worked uh, closely with uh, Professor Tony Gerschlick, who was the chief investigator for the culprit study, and I led uh, the culprit cardiovascular MRI sub-study, which was separately funded by the NIHR. It randomised patients from across the United Kingdom. It was funded by the British Heart Foundation and the NIHR. And basically, we randomly allocated patients with a blocked artery plus a narrowed artery elsewhere to either having only the blocked artery treated or the blocked artery and the narrow artery treated at the same time. The study has already led to a change in the American myocardial infarction guidelines, removing non-infarct related artery intervention from a class 3 indication to a class 2b. Very much a team effort. Uh, you've heard from Jerry McCann, he was an important member of the team, but the nurses, uh, the research assistants, the PIs in the other centres around the UK who put patients in, all of these, the statisticians, the people who analyse the data, this was a real team effort. None of it would have been possible without every member of the team. <laughs>